In this video, we'll show you the correct procedures for marinating, coating, storing, and cooking quality genuine broaster chicken. In order to use the broaster company's trademark and market your product as genuine broaster chicken, you must have a signed, licensed trademark agreement on file with broaster company. You must follow the proper method and procedures outlined by broaster company, use chickite or supreme marinade, and slow bro coating and prepare your chicken in a broaster pressure fryer. Let's begin. Before handling raw chicken, wash, rinse, and sanitize your hands and surrounding preparation areas. Wear disposable gloves and a suitable apron. Purchase quality fresh chicken with a weight range of two and three quarters to three pounds per bird. If you have to purchase outside that range, purchase in quarter pound increments and adjust your cooking time accordingly. Broaster Company recommends an eight-piece cut bird with consistent sizing. Inspect your product labeling to ensure your product is unmarinated and not saline injected, as this will prevent the chicken from absorbing the proper amount of marination. Trim excess fat off all pieces. Remove fragments and pin feathers, cut off the tail, snap the thighs and clean out the kidneys. Be sure to rinse all chicken pieces under cold running water. Mix one gallon of cold water with chickite marinade using the supplied six ounce measure. Do not exceed 14 to 15 pounds of chicken per gallon of water. Arrange the chicken loosely in a marinating tub and then pour the marinade over the chicken making sure the chicken is completely submerged in the marinade. If necessary, agitate the tub to reposition the chicken to ensure it is completely submerged. Put a lid on the tub and place a date-coated sticker on top of the lid. Refrigerate the marinating tub and chicken at 34 to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Optimal marination time is 8 to 12 hours. Do not exceed 24 hours. Ensure you are marinating for the same duration each time for consistent flavor. After the marinating process is complete, remove the chicken from refrigeration and thoroughly drain the product. Ensure that all excess marinade is drained. Refrigerate the drained chicken for a minimum of 45 minutes. Now that your chicken has been properly marinated, we'll show you the steps to coat your chicken with slow bro coating. Open the slow bro coating box and put the slow bro coating into a pan. Lightly dust each piece with the coating following the instructions on the box. Tap the pieces together and place them into a clean pan organizing them so that like pieces are together. Remove your disposable gloves, cover the pan with plastic wrap or a lid, and place a date code sticker on the pan. Place coated chicken pans in a designated storage area in the refrigerator. Allow the product to set up under refrigeration for a minimum of 45 minutes to a maximum of 12 hours. Do not exceed 12 hours or the chicken may exhibit a dark coating when cooked. When you are finished with the process, wash your hands and the prep area properly. Now that you've cleaned, marinated, and coated your chicken, you're ready to start cooking. Make sure that your broaster pressure fryer is at the correct temperature for cooking, 360 degrees Fahrenheit, and wear appropriate protective apparel. Remove the previously coated chicken from refrigeration. When the chicken has properly set up, it will have a tacky appearance. Place the pan close to the pressure fryer. With the basket fully lowered into the cooking well, use tongs to gently place the fresh coated chicken into the basket, one piece at a time, in a circular pattern. While loading the chicken, periodically agitate the basket allowing the basket to drift down to minimize any product sticking. Note, carefully place the chicken in the hot oil to avoid splashing. 
Load the chicken clockwise in this order. Breasts first, then the thighs, then the legs, and finally the wings. Remove the basket lifter handle and close the fryer cover. Rotate the cover handle to the left as far as it will go and then close the pressure regulating valve by rotating the valve lever to the right. This will start the cook timer and pressure will begin to build. Be sure to return the handle to the holder. When you hear the alert sound from the controller which signals the end of the cook cycle, slowly open the pressure regulating valve and then take the basket lifter out of the holder. When the pressure gauge indicates there is no pressure in the cooking well, push down to unlock the cover handle, rotate it to the right and push the cover back. Agitate the basket to release any stuck chicken pieces, then lift it out of the oil. Lock the lifter handle into the basket channel and place it onto the rest peg. Allow the oil to drain from the chicken for 30 seconds and gently dump the chicken onto a dump table with a draining rack. Use clean tongs to separate the chicken into a single layer with the chicken serving side up. Next, allow the chicken to stage for five minutes before preparing it for serving. Do not allow chicken to sit at room temperature for more than five minutes. For optimal quality, serve within one hour of cooking. Following these procedures will help you serve top quality, genuine Broaster chicken each and every time. Visit Broaster.com for more information and to contact your local authorized Broaster distributor.